Alright guys, welcome back. So, last time we left off with um, us saving Alan. Somehow Alan either remember what happened or trying to remember what happened to him before he escaped the darkness or whatever the hell it's called. So, um, yeah, let's see how that goes. Uh, also, I decided to try and apply a filter oh shit to the recording make it look a little bit brighter for y'all i know I, i've seen that it looks kind of dark as shit even if it doesn't really look as dark on my side so uh, hopefully having that filter on will help with seeing better for you guys instead of having to you know you guys uh, maybe up in the brightness and stuff like that so um Don't really know what else oh yeah i finished final fantasy 16 so uh those videos should be coming up by the next three weeks i have lined up uh starting this weekend i think it comes out uh the uh super mario rpg remake remaster whatever i'll be doing that game next so uh judgment is gonna be taking a little longer of a backseat until i finish uh, this game and when I finish this game I'll continue judgment with Super Mario depending on if it takes me longer to beat it or not so anyways we're back we're gonna keep going with this game and uh, we'll see how it goes so uh, we gotta approach the TV Good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story wait this isn't right i i haven't written anything he's so humble okay you got me good prank very funny but yeah i sad to say i, I i've not written this I, i'd remember if i'd written a book right or maybe it was written by your evil double Well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written that's right alex casey is in this book as well uh, i guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show the joke's on me but isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction well but seriously i found the the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating it reminded me of the matrix I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? 
Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. <laughs> all this talk of meta-narratives. I have to expect them to disappear once this scene ends. <laughs> Whoa, freaky. Okay. Hello? Hi. I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home to Alice. Ah, uh, I missed the uh, narration. Also, this week I bought myself a new uh, PlayStation controller, so I'm testing it out now. To, just to break it in, you know? What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Probably Could is. a good horror story. There you go. Okay, okay. Just keep going. I need to stop doing that. Okay. Uh, that's right. That. Oh. Mr. Door. Old gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Yeah, it's the fucking band of old dudes. The first game. Some killer music. Mess. I'd never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Dr. Casper Door. Oh. Casper. I think he's the one. That, the one doctor from uh, the first game. Oh. Wait. I mean, I was trying to guess it. I guess I'm wrong. Got it wrong. Was it six six uh, six six five? That's what I think it is. Let's try it out. There we go. Smart man. Smart man. There was something Hello? here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. It's me. What was that? A message? It's a me. to say. Okay. It's finally nice being able to actually play the game because I've been just trying to finish Final Fantasy for the longest time. It took me five months and while fun, I wanted to finish it, you know? I wanted to start playing another game, something that I've been, another game that I've been waiting for, which is this one. So, you know, I'd already done Spider-Man, which I did that on my own time, which is very fun, very interesting game. I'd done Baldur's Gate also. I did a little stream of that, but I, I didn't do anything there after. The studio with me. I had to get out. Normally, because I don't really stream too much, I, don't, I honestly just don't like streaming, but I try to do it as much as I can. Even if it's just with my friends just messing around in a game, you know? So normally, you'll probably see those a lot here and there, but... What's going on here? Oh, something chasing us. Open the door! 
It's loud. This is the ritual to meet you all. It's very loud. Waking That's up from vibrator. the air, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. Is this my dreamscape? Initiation. Draft one. A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. So I'm here. Here's hoping that the the little filter that I put for some brightness and contrast and all that, you know, stuff. I couldn't leave. This wasn't the way out. Oh, back to writing. Um, I had to write. It looks more. good. Don't look too bad, but you know, you can see into the darkness now, in some way. <laughs> Finally. Thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk shop. Fucking Sam Lake. And of course, Man can do anything. Alan Wake here. The best coming writer, the books, the films are based off. Let's do this! There we go. Zoom back in there. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I, I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? <laughs> he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh... What's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well... In that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Casey. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. 
I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp, shaped like an angel. The only thing that shed light on this sordid mystery. That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? I don't know, man, but Max Payne has said he'd probably kill you. So let Max Payne do what Max Payne will do. Which is direct this game and make it amazing. <laughs> I don't think anything has changed, so. But this is giving me, like, so much control vibes, it's not even funny, dude. Repeating. Same thing. My change is this because of the numbers. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, there you go. Okay. So this is trippy. So far. Trippy, trippy, trippy as hell. Alright, no, I can't go there. Okay. See what happens now. Will we get chased by the same thing again? Probably. Music is changing. Ah, but we opened the door this time. Hello? Is gonna be the same fucking janitor from Control? be weird as hell if it is too. It is. Be that. I think it is. It looks like him. Ah, Ati. Wow, it is. There you are, Tom. Hey, Ati. Not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. What do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a man. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egoni. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Uh, 
I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Now, I don't remember is if Tom was a force, the force that controls you and control. I don't remember exactly. Like, it's, it's, I need to actually play the game and finish it. But it might be, it might, I don't know, I might be wrong. I don't know for sure exactly. But that's my guess. That is probably my, my best guess right now, currently. Okay, here's my room. Anything in here? Oh. Close this bitch. Yeah. It's open. Okay, that's the door that I couldn't go through first. We got over here. He's meant. Creepy. I don't want to go in there yet. Yeah, I mean, I have to. Okay. Look at these colors from Saw, dude. Saw. Amazing movies. Saw, 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 saw. Jigsaw, are you here? Oh. John Kramer? Mr. Kramer. Dark as shit. I'll use my, <laughs> I'll use my second screen to 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 see because now it's dark as shit. But on the screen, and we can actually kind of see what it is. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? So it's just gonna go like happen if I touch it. So I'm just gonna look around and see what's around. Okay, nothing. By the looks of it. Okay, grab it. The lamp? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. Nice to know that I randomly I felt a magnetic a satchel. between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into Whoa. my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Okay, this is straight up control, Opening dude. Way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. The fucking light, the light switch. Light now. I felt another surge from the lamp. The glow in the lamp oh, went out, yeah, okay. shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. Okay. Just grab it. Oh, this is gonna be opening a whole lot of bullshit, dude.
Okay. What is this PT? Oh, it's bright. I don't like it when the TV does that actually. That's we gotta pick up the light back. Where's this go? I needed to find another Nowhere, way out. Nowhere, because it's locked. Okay. Back here. Guess we just grab the light. That's not an actual door. Yeah, that's not an actual door. Okay, let's grab that. Interesting. I guess we continue on. It was a short one. Maybe. Hopefully. Oh. Guessing these are my actual safe places. Yeah. I don't know, should I do these chapter based? I don't even know, because it's... My current difficulty is if I should do these chapter based or not. Blue box. Okay, let's not do that. Put the light back on. Hello. Oh, I'm outside. The payphone was ringing. Somehow, I knew the call was for me. That's a chapter thing gonna pop up in our faces, man. Uh, grab that. The dark. Oh, this is a dark place. over me. Had I had this conversation before? Helen, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got you now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. 
Hello? Hello? Is he? Yeah, I think the man had said Caldera Street Station. Um, I had to go there. Yeah, I'll treat this as the part one for Alan Wake. So, what I'm gonna do is save and. Uh, Make sure, there we go, initiation. So, we're going to stop it here. Um, like I said, if every chapter is certain amount of time, I'll just do it that way. I think, ow. It'll make the videos for me a lot easier to do, especially if I just go chapter by chapter. So, uh, yeah, that's chapter one for Alan Wake, once again. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was interesting. Now we're back in a dark place. So, we're going to see how that works and see... Uh, who is this unknown caller? Is it Alex Casey or somebody from the, uh, from Cauldron Lake or whatever? So, uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm recording these back to back, so it'll be next video. I'll just leave off right after here. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. And, uh,